Hello my clever students, hope all is well. Today, we will take a new grammar lesson, but it will be very easy because you already have some information about it. So let's read the objectives of today. First, you will identify the meaning of the pronoun reference and then you will locate the pronoun reference in some sentences by solving a worksheet. Well, let's recall the English pronouns and skim this slide. In English, we have the subject pronouns that replace the subject nouns. We have the object pronouns that replace the object nouns. We also have the possessive adjectives. And the possessive adjectives are those that describe to whom something or someone belongs. We also have the possessive pronouns as well, and they work mostly like the possessive adjectives and describe to whom something or someone belongs. And finally, the reflexive pronouns that you will take later. Well, let's get started. What's a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun. Now, can you tell me why do we use the pronouns? Well, we use the pronouns to avoid repeating the same nouns over and over again in a sentence. To be clear, I'm going to give you an example. Let's read these lines. My sister went shopping because my sister wanted a new dress. My sister bought an amazing pink dress. Well, how many times did I use my sister? One, two, three. So I used this phrase three times. And we all know that good writers don't repeat the words over and over again. So to avoid repeating the same word, we can use a pronoun as the following. My sister went shopping because she wanted a new dress. She bought an amazing pink dress. Now look at the word or the pronoun she. She refers to my sister. Well, would you mind solving more exercises? I think you would love to do. Let's move on. What does each underlined pronoun refer to? I bought a new story. It is about an orphan child. Here, the underlined pronoun is it. So, it refers to... Ask yourself, what is that about an orphan child? The new story. So, it refers to a new story. So, instead of saying, I bought a new story, a new story is about an orphan child. We used a pronoun that replaces the phrase of a new story to avoid repeating the same phrase. Let's take one more exercise. I miss my best friend. I will visit him next week. The underlined pronoun here is him. Well, whom will I visit next week? My best friend. So, him refers to my best friend. Finally, you have got the worksheet. Let's explain it. Let's read the text. A raven and a swan. A raven, which you know is black as coil, was envious of the swan because her feathers were as white as the purest snow. The foolish bird got the idea that if he lived like the swan, swimming and diving all day long and eating the weeds and plants that grow in the water, his feathers would turn white like the swans. So he left his home in the woods and fields and flew down to live on the lakes and in the marshes. But though he washed and washed all day long, almost drowning himself at it, 
His feathers remained as black as ever, and as the water weeds he ate didn't agree with him, he got thinner and thinner, and at last he died. So a change of habits will not alter nature. Well, in the first exercise, you will complete the following table. The pronouns are underlined in the story. So you have to find what does the pronoun her refer to and so on. However, in the second exercise, you have to replace the underlined nouns with the suitable pronouns. Let's take the first one. The raven left his home. What pronoun can be used instead of the raven? We can use both, it or he. And so on. Thank you and have a good day.